let us start with let us start with the union operator union operator union operator so union operator allows us to combine allows union operator allows us to combine two or two or more results result sets of queries queries into a single result set result set so if you have two tables you can call two tables and if you want to combine them together into a single result set we are going to use a union operator now you might be getting confused like we can do that in inner join also we can join two tables together by using an inner join yeah we can do that in a inner join but we are looking at the union join that is different from the inner join so we will see the difference between the union operator and the inner join so when you are using an union operator by default all the duplicates are removed so there will be no duplicate rows in the union so it depends or it is exactly same like a distinct operator if you are not using a distinct operator also uh, like it works like a distinct operator but if you want all the duplicates also then there is one more operator that is called as a union all operator so if you are using a union all operator you will be getting all the records including duplicates so in union operator no duplicates are allowed or no duplicate rows are there but in union all you get all records records including duplicates okay so if you want to append append the two tables row wise then okay let me give you the example by using an excel here let me show you with the help of an excel then you will get a clear understanding here yeah so suppose i have an id column here so i am having 1 2 3 and i have one more id column let me increase the size yeah here i have the records 2 3 2 3 and 4 so if i am using a union here union so the output will be my output will be 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be my output if i am using a union operator okay union operator let me highlight this okay similarly so what happens in the union operator union operator if you want to add or if you want to append the result result set result sets vertically vertically then we go for union union and vertical okay but whereas let me copy this same if instead of union if i use inner join inner join inner join the output i get is id and id so here what is the common records between these two so the common records are 2 and 3 and here also i get 2 and 3 so you can see the difference here when you are using a union operator it helps us to add the results in vertical direction when you are using an inner join inner join that appends the result set horizontally horizontally so that is the major difference between inner join and the outer join so inner join and the union operator union operator 
gives you the result sets in vertical. If you want to add the sets in a vertical, then we go for the union. If you want to go with the horizontal, we go for the joints. Okay. So let me tell you the quick difference now. If I want to use union and union all. So let me take this. Instead of union, if I use union all, so you get an output like this. Okay, let me show you. So the output will be ID 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. So this is the output when you are using union all. In, it includes the duplicates and in the union, the duplicates are avoided or there are no duplicates in the union. So let me give you a simple example now. Suppose I have two tables which have ID and here I have the name and here I have age. Similarly, I have the second table. So this is my T1 table and here I have T2 table which have ID, name and age. Now if I want to get the results from these two tables in one table, then I have to go for the union operator and depending upon whether you want a duplicates or not, you can choose whether you want union operator or the union all operator. So you get the table which will contain only three columns, three columns and all the records from the first table and the second table will append in the row wise vertically. It will add the result sets vertically by using a union operator. So when you are using a union operator, there are some limitations here. So what are the limitations here? The limitations is you should have the same columns as you have in the first column and the second column. You should have a same data type for these two. You can see here we have an integer. This should also be an integer. This should be an worker. This should also be an worker. If this is an integer, this also should be an integer. If the data types are same, then only you can use the union operator. And we know when to use a join. Suppose we have a table one, which is having the name, age and all. And suppose table two, which contains the students ID and which contains students marks. So if you want to know what are the marks for ID one, so then you can use the inner join. So when you are using an inner join, it appends in the horizontally, horizontally you get a marks here. So you get results like this. So this is like using an inner join and this is like using an union operator. I hope this is clear. Theoretical part is clear. Let us move on the hands on uh, how to create a union, uh, how to append two tables or two result cells into one using an union which happens in a vertical direction. So I'll write here which happens your results in vertically. Okay. Let me add it here. Appends result sets vertically. Okay. So let me create uh, two tables, a uh, very simple tables. So I'm creating two tables here. Now let me use a new database here that is test database and let me create T1 and T2. So, so two tables have been created in the test database and now let me insert the values here like what we have seen in the example. Let me insert insert into T1, 1, 2, 3, insert into T2, 2, 3, 4. Let me execute this. Yeah, now it has inserted. Now, how to use an union? A very simple. So just we need to use two result sets to make it one. So I'm using select. So before that, let me show you how the table exactly looks like. Select T1, sorry, select star from T1 table and select star from T2 table. Okay. Let me execute these two. Yeah, so one, two, three, you can see one, two, three and two, three, four. Now I want to append these two vertically. Here I'm using a select ID column from T1, from T1 table. 
let me put this here p1 and then i'm using an union operator union operator select id from t2 t2 now let me execute this and see the results so you can see you got one two three four so there are no duplicates here and you got all four rows which are appending vertically which you got the results from t1 and t2 so this is how union works so similar to this instead of union if i use union all union all and if i run this this also appends vertically but here we get all the duplicate records so you can see 1 2 3 2 3 4 the way which i have shown you in the excel here you can see so you get a results 1 2 3 2 3 4 that is a the result set is appending both the tables vertically and with duplicates so this is how this is all about the union operator I hope you have enjoyed this session guys. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Keep learning. Thank you.